Hi. In this video, we are going to learn about the topic neighboring group participation and basically how it affects the SN2 reactions. So, what is neighboring group participation is that the direct interaction of the reaction center with a lone pair of electron of an atom or with the electrons of a sigma or pi bond contained in the parent molecule but not conjugated with the reaction center. Now this definition is a quite uh, bit of uh, terms, technical terms there. But uh, what it says is that uh, when uh, there is a group since in a SN2 reaction or in any reaction when nucleophile attack there is a particular site at which nucleophile attacks. So, the group which is in the neighboring of that site. So here the reaction center means the site on which the nucleophile is going to be attacked in the reaction. And the neighboring group, definitely there will be a neighboring group which will, which have a lone pair of electron either or having a sigma or pi bond which is present in parent molecule since because we are talking about parent molecule where the site will be in parent molecule and attack will be taking place on the parent molecule yani ki, means the reactant so the if there is a neighboring group which has a lone pair of electron or sigma or pi bond electrons basically sigma and pi bond contains electrons so if there are electrons in sigma and pi bond forms or and the other condition is those are not conjugated with the reaction center means they have no any effect uh, no any relation with the reaction center so if such electrons are there they interact with the le uh, leaving re leaving group or the reaction center and affect the reaction so this is what neighboring group participation is now let's come and see the steps how it occurs so the neighboring group participation the first step is here we can see that uh, the this carbon where the x is uh, the substituent there this is a reaction center and the z is here our neighboring group so in the first step the neighboring group act z act as a nucleophile here this will act as a nucleophile because it is donating its lone pair of electron or pair of electron in the form of sigma and pi bond to this reaction center or not donating we can say sharing its lone pair of electrons so it is acting as a nucleophile plus the leaving group x and pushes the leaving group x not plus pushes the leaving group x means the this uh, by uh, interacting with the electrons the leaving group is going to be out from this uh, parent molecule and it is in this the first step this uh, leaving group is also in the attachment with this and in the final finally the in second step the other nucleophile which is extra nucleophile which displaces the uh, neighboring group z from the back side and forms the product here we can see the product will be this so this is how the neighboring group participate or this is how the steps takes place now let's look which group are expected to display the neighboring group participation so as we have seen in the definition those groups which have either lone pair or pi electrons are expected to participate or interact in uh, interact with the uh, reaction center or participate in neighboring group participation neighboring group and examples are here we can see sulfur or r2n means amine oxygen chlorine or bromine etc double bond means pi electrons or phenyl so these are some examples which uh, can uh, take part in neighboring group participation and uh, Let's move ahead. Now, what are the consequences of NGP? Means, uh, if we say that this effect is occurring, so how does it affect the reaction? So, there are basically three effects, so three consequences. One is enzymatic effect, other is retention of configuration, and the third is sign substitution. So, let's see one each one by one. So, the first is enzymatic assistance. Enzymatic assistance is basically uh, means uh, you can say the this is that uh, the increase in the rate of reaction with a very great extent means uh, if a neighboring group participation result in an abrupt increase in the rate of reaction means very high increase in the rate of reaction then the phenomena is not at enzymatic or uh, enzymatic effect or enzymatic assistance so uh, here is one example that on the reaction with water both hexyl chloride and mustard gas. This is our mustard gas and this is a hexyl chloride. 
forms the corresponding reference we can see that the same reaction is going to uh, taking place here also the chlorine is replaced by the uh, hydroxyl group and here also chlorine is replaced by the hydroxyl group but the point to be noted here is that the rate of reaction with the mustard gas is 700 times greater than the first reaction what is the cause of this reaction is because here there is a group with lone pair of electrons it, so it act as a nucleophile and interact with the neighboring group and how does this affect that interacting with neighboring group help to leave the ligand or the leaving group chlorine easily and hence the attack of external nucleophile will be easier so the rate of reaction increases 700 times means there is a very high increase in the rate of reaction so this is how the neighboring group participation uh, causes enchimeric effect or enchimeric assistance uh, similar example here is also that an increase in rate is observed or the explanation of the example is here that an increase in rate of observed in mustard gas is hydrolyzed because sulfur act as a neighboring group and displace the leaving group and forming an intermediate which on hydrolysis gives product this is what i was going to explain there that if here is also the sulfur act, act, act donate its neighboring uh, electrons uh, lone pair of electrons and forms an intermediate this in, on in, in this intermediate when uh, the we can say the uh, hydroxyl group in the um, water uh, here the neighboring group uh, due to this neighboring group participation there is a formation of intermediate with a ring and uh, uh, after hydrolysis the reaction is taking place like this and this is a very fast reaction because the attack of nucleophile is now easy now the next effect is retention of configuration what retention of configuration means here whenever we talk about configuration there is always a chiral molecule or chiral atom present in a reaction or reactant so if the configuration of the compound formed in the reaction is same as that of a reactant then that we will say that this is a re retention of configuration means the configuration do not changes so uh, with the help of ngp the configuration retention of configuration can be observed like that uh, if uh, suppose the site uh, the site from which the leaving group is going to leave the reactant molecule and if in the product the attack of nucleophile is such that that the same side the chiral center the orientation of molecules or orientation of substrate is same as that of a parent molecule then we can say that there is a retention of configuration a number of reactants are reactions are known with nucleophilic substitution occur with retention of configuration one important factor which leads to retention of configuration is neighboring group participation so let's see an example how this retention of configuration takes place so here such a reaction involves two SN2 substitution how let's see in the first step neighboring group Z here this neighboring group Z attacks as a nucleophile and pushes out the leaving group so while the external nucleophile pushes out the leaving group in the subsequent step means here in the first step this Z acts as a nucleophile and pushes out this nucleophile this leaving group L and forms a uh, forms an intermediate and now in the second step this which is very fast step the external nucleophile attacks and pushes out this jet so the final product is this and the configuration is here we can observe that the configuration is same as that of here z is also our z is also our the nucleophile the is leaving group was of this side and the nucleophile is this side so the retention of configuration can be seen Example of hysterical consequence of determination of L and then L lactic acid by the way of intermediate electron formed by participation of carbon. This is how we can see that retention of configuration takes place. Here, firstly, uh, here in this example, we can see that this uh, HNO2 uh, converts this NH2 into a diazo ion and double bond N bond. So, uh, the oxygen of the carbonyl group contains a lone pair of electron which it interact with the reaction site that is this carbon here and uh, after the inversion the first inversion because uh, if there is an inversion taking place and the retention of configuration then de definitely there will be two inversions minimum two inversions are taking place so that in the first inversion the configuration changes in the second inversion the configuration again changes so the 
initial configuration can be achieved so this is how the intermediate forms and after the second attack the retention of configuration is takes place and again inversion takes place so this is how the stereochemical consequences of n are affected with the due to ngp or neighboring group participation now the third is the last one the sign substitution this is a type of substitution reaction in which the entering group takes a position on an atom adjacent to the atom to which the leaving group is is attached means here the nucleophile which is going to be attached or which is going to be attached takes place the position which is adjacent to the carbon which is having a leaving group means if the leaving group is on this carbon then nucleophile is going to take the position of this carbon here you can see that again the neighboring group participation takes place in the step one and nucleophile can attack on both sides see these both sides are equivalent for nucleophile so the exact expected product will be this and or this this is a rearranged product means if the attack will take place here then the this bond will break and if the attack will take place there then this bond will be break so this is how the sign substitution takes place now ngp may npg neighboring group participation may also involve in the formation of rearranged product called sign substitution this is the example here that we can see the neighboring group participates and the brom uh, pushes out the bromine and uh, in uh, after hydrolyzed or h2 uh, hoh and uh, this oxygen uh, this bond breaks and uh, the product is this which is rearranged product however the expected product was this but the product which form due to ng is this how this takes place actually because due to neighboring group participation the bond forms and since this is a more crowded site so the attack will be favored on this side and the hydroxyl group will attach to this carbon in the in place of this carbon so this is how the rearranged products form and this is what the what we are expecting so this is what a uh, neighboring group participation is hope you will understand well for any query please send us at www.kalashafoundation.org or you can send your queries on whatsapp to our whatsapp number is 9680887559 kalasha foundation bringing solution to you